this is my series you guys have been watching and you guys obviously want to know how I've been dieting. So I'm going to teach you guys how I've been dieting and how you guys should be dieting. We're going to head over to the supermarket and then we're going to get going. I'm going to teach you guys step by step how to set up your macros. There's 27 grams of carbs per serving, but that's good because that means we can eat two servings as a meal. There's one gram of fat. So these are good for low fat meals. These are good when you're not really watching your fat. Sour cream and onion, obviously. I guess have some good potato chips. Is caffeine a macronutrient? Sweet. Sausage and peppers. and peppers. Sausage and peppers. What are these Daniels? <laughs> Alright, so basically, we want to lose some weight. So I'm going to tell you what I'm doing for my weight loss, and what you guys can do for your weight loss, and what I found has worked for me in the past, and what I hope is going to work for me in the future. So basically, what I do is I take my body weight, which at the beginning of my weight loss was pretty high, 233. I multiplied it by anywhere between 14 and 16. If you want to lose weight a little bit faster, multiply it by 14 and minus 500. If you want to lose weight a little bit slower, multiply it by 16 and minus 500. I multiply my body weight by 15 and minus 500. So right now, I'm eating 2,300 calories a day. So I'll explain how I got to that number. Anyway, so for some reason we were talking about proteins from this mound of ice, even though it makes no fucking sense. So protein, what you want to do, you want to start off at about 40% of your calories. So if you do the, the calculation correctly, at about 15 times your body weight, proteins should come out very close to about 1.1 to 1.2 times your body weight. So me right now, I'm 220 pounds and I've already lowered my calories twice and I'm eating around 215 grams of protein which is about one pound per body weight. I gotta get down. I'm gonna sleep up here. I'm not fucking getting down. Uh. <laughs> oh, my foot's stuck. If you're using an app like MyFitnessPal, you can set your calories to whatever you'd like. So I'm doing 2,500, and then set your macronutrient breakdown to also whatever you like. So set it to 40, use that number as your benchmark to start. Then you're gonna set your carbs to either 30 or 35, depending on whether or not you really like carbs or you'd rather eat more fat. Me, I like to start off them even at 30% and 30%. So this is exactly what I did. So at the very beginning of my diet, I was eating about 40% protein, which came out to like 240 grams of protein, 30% carbs, which was like 215, and about 30% fat, which came out between, between like 70 and 90, somewhere around 80. What you do from here now is 2,500 calories, See how, see how that works out. So if I don't lose any weight this week, what I do is I lower my calories. So I basically lost one pound. I said, you know what? I need to lose at least another pound next week. Since you lost weight, you're not gonna lose as much next week. So what you do is you lower your calories again. So what I did then was I lowered it by 200 calories. But since, like I said, I like to eat my fats, I lowered my carbs by 50 grams. So your protein, your carbs, and your fat each have a different caloric value. So your protein is four calories per gram, your carbs are four calories per gram, and your fats are nine calories per gram. So what I did, 200 calories divided by four, 50 grams, took away from my carbs. Next week, if I lose less than a pound or about a pound to less than a pound. What I do is I lower my calories by 200 again and I take that from my carbs. The way my diet's going to work, and you don't have to necessarily do this for your diet, is I'm gonna take all of my calories that I go from 2,500 calories to 1,900 calories away from my carbs. So when I hit my 1,900 calories, I'm gonna be eating only roughly 70 grams of carbs a day, maybe even lower about 50. My fats are gonna be relatively high compared. Then there's gonna be a transition week for me because I lose my best weight on a keto diet, 
where I up my fats every week as I lower my carbs again. And for the last four weeks of my diet, basically what's going to happen is that I'm going to be in a ketogenic state where my protein is roughly 25% of my diet and my fats roughly 65% of my diet, and my carbs are less than 10%. You guys can do this the opposite way depending on how many carbs you like. You can slowly take away from your fats and keep your protein and your carbs high. When you slowly take away from your fats though, do not add any calories to your carbohydrates because later down the road, when you're at your lowest amount, when you want to really dial in, you can lower those carbohydrates little by 